Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. And this is Angel, and we love you. Well, this week the sign is a peaceful Libra, so happy birthday to you, Libra. We love you because you are the sign of peace. The moon will travel in the signs of Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. And Friday, Mercury in Libra will go frontwards. <sighs> that means all communications will be more normal, more in the flow. For the rest of the year, the summer crazy media madness will mellow down and the balloon of the angry Gemini Bulldog, Donald Trump, with the dark dragon tail mm -hmm. and his big narcissist, very, very powerful egomaniac, Sagittarius Moon, will shrink. Well, he did show us the truth about the shock side of America and the bigotry, the racism, the discrimination and all these things were like, I slowly, people will realize this is not who we are in America. So this shadow is only about 10% maybe even 10% uh, or maybe let's say even 20% in the Republican. But altogether, that means everything is good. So the Aquarian light is really at work and it will win over the dark. Hope is in the air. Thursday, Venus planet of love in glorious Leo for last four months enters practical Virgo for six weeks. That's very grounding. Giving special blessings to Earth signs, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn. We will express also love somehow in a more practical, down-to-earth fashion. It's sort of like ah, less passion, more real. A great time also to improve our health, heal, and maybe get surgery, get the help we need to be the best we can be, to get fit, to go back to the gym, to get beauty treatments. It's all very good in the next few weeks. This is a week of also of endings and new beginnings. One week or the other in our personal life, in world affairs, and in politics. And all for the better Aquarian good of humanity. So, have faith. Trust me. Libra, let me start with you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You are so cute, so pretty. You are the prettiest of the zodiac, you know. Mercury going frontwards at last in your sign and Venus, your ruler in your spiritual sector, bring higher energy, inspiration, and like a poetic justice somehow. In career, you're making progress, and if you're dreaming of traveling, it would be a good time to plan something, maybe for the end of the year, or maybe even following. If you're in show business, a student, an artist, a musician, a surprise awaits. And neighbors and relatives and siblings, somehow they need a little bit of you right now. On the weekend, you should definitely reach out your batteries to get ready for a very busy the other week. Your magical color, yellow, lucky number 7 and 25. Scorpio, Scorpio, you are feeling better and better. Mercury going frontward and Venus entering your social sector bring vindications and rewards for all your determination and hard work. Your popularity rises. You're back on the path. You get the support you need at work and at home. After Thursday, your whole life will be turning around. It's like, wow, it's flipping back where you belong. Rejoice. Somehow you will be having fabulous news in career and also in your personal life, there's a little magic added by the stars. On the weekend, celebrate you. So I guess the beautiful, honest and fabulous Superwoman Hillary Clinton will do very good and she is in a good mood. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 8 and 44. Sagittarius Saturn in your sign, Mercury frontward, make you also very grounded. Venus entering your career house makes you lucky and assertive. You could find jobs or get a promotion, take initiative. Your creativity helps you solve many challenges now. Believe in yourself and trust in the process of the universe and love. You may feel a little emotional, but it's important to continue to make the right choices. On the weekend, you should enjoy the company of your friends. Your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, 9, 18. 
Debbie Korn. This is a week for questions and answers. What are your love life, career, and financial situation? Is it bringing you the satisfaction you want? Are you happy where you are? And what did you do to make it better? This is pretty much what the uh, Mercury going forward and also Venus entering your karmic sector is telling you. So follow your intuition and go spiritual rather than human. And take advantage of this week to really plant your seeds in career. A good time to also polish your looks and look the best you can and take care of your health. On the weekend, you feel fabulous, but uh, go to the gym, take walks, be active. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 10 and 41. Aquarius, Venus entering your shared resources sector, bring a breath of fresh air. You feel very friendly and generous and more in sync with the energy around you. Friends play a key role. Mercury going from frontwards give a green light in career. Easier. Giving advice to other people is rewarding. Joining the community group and helping in some charity and expressing your leadership is very strong right now. It's like you're a new person. Ooh, ha. In love, share your feelings and on the weekend, just be with people you care about. So that means it's a good week for Jeff Bush. I think so. Your magical color, orange, lucky number 7 and 34. Pisces, Mercury going frontwards and Venus in your relationship sector make you smile. All week, you are so cute. Absolutely irresistible. Venus entering your relationship house brings charm, intuition, and also popularity. You can travel for business reasons or receive a visit from afar. There could be some changes in your beliefs and it's all good because sometimes, you know, what we thought was true, maybe it's not. So now this week, the truth comes in and you will love it. On the weekend, friends, touch your heart. Virgo. Cancers applaud you. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers 8 and 35. Aries, Mercury going frontwards, and Venus in your workout sector really brings a higher energy. You're in a good mood right now and much more confident than ever. It's like you feel like, wow, you turned the page in your life. You acquire new knowledge that could help you also very much in career. Take initiative, but don't rush. Go slowly but surely like a little turtle. You'll see, you'll catch up the rabbit space towards the end of the month. On Thursday, you'll be able to connect the dots and see the bigger picture about your love and family life. On the weekend, speak, pay special attention to your health to be the best you can be. Cancer and Aquarius are your friends, your magical color, red lucky numbers, 9 and 36. Taurus, Mercury frontward and Venus, your master, in your romantic sector give you wings, confidence. You're in a great mood all week. You feel passionate about everything you do. And by Thursday, you'll get a glimpse about your future and realize that you are on the path. You are moving forward. You did make the right decisions. Believe in yourself in career. You attract powerful people that want to help. So ask in romance. You get spoiled rotten, especially on the weekend. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers, 7 and 16. Gemini's Mercury, your master planet, going frontwards, and Venus in your home sector, bring a feeling of relief. It's like you pretty much now, you know where you stand. You know where to go, and you know what to do, and you'll have to take some decisions this week for sure. The focus is on a new way of doing things, especially in career, a good time to make Better choices to forgive, forget, and move on. Legal matters are favored. New projects in career, especially in show business, also doing very well. You could get some kind of phone call or email that you didn't expect. On the weekend, spend time with loved ones. Your magical color, yellow lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Cancers, Mercury frontward, bring a big, big feeling of liberation and higher energy and somehow hope is in the air. Venus entering your communication sector gives you a voice and passion. A good time to express your feelings, your talents, to communicate with other people, to push the envelope in career. And somehow you are aware how super invincible, fabulous you are and you are able to share that with other people. You have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things to do, but you will do fabulous. On the weekend, you could really count on the support of your friends and family, just when you need it. 
Your magical color red, like in numbers 9 and 24. Leo, good news, Mercury frontwards and Venus in your financial sector bring good career news and a happy finance financial picture. Love is also flirting with you. If you're single, you have to go out and show the fabulous you because you attract nice mates. The focus is on happiness, love and recognition for your generosity of heart and talents. You may have visions about your future, especially on the weekend. So take notes, but whatever you do, follow your heart and be as generous as you can. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, one and 21. Virgos, there's a wind of hope in the air. Mercury, your master planet, going frontward at last. It helps you catch up your breath. Now, rewarding Venus also entering your sign brings blessings and a better understanding of who you are, where you want to go, you're more in the flow, and it's like the calm after the storm. And guess what this week? You'll make the right moves and you'll make the right choices and people will applaud you for that. And it's very important that you take notes because the stars are really inspiring you and giving you fabulous ideas. Do you know who is Virgo? Hmm? Sanders and Christy. Jupiter brings them luck. Christy survives scandals and Sanders is in the steady popularity. I think his purpose is really to push Hillary to her highest purpose. Guess what? And he knows it. <laughs> your magical color blue, lucky numbers 4 and 40. And now, your wizard affirmation of this week. Everything we say, do, is always the reflection of who we are. Just for fun this week, observe the media, the politicians, and discover who they are. At the end, everything boomerangs back to us. No one fools anyone but themselves. Love you guys. Have fun with this. Be good now. Tell me, Georgia Westerbond.